And it's Ken Kratzer for Sons American Legion Radio. We're at West Point for Army football practice. Uh, Black Knights will play Morgan State on Saturday at Mikey Stadium, uh, 12 noon start. Army is 2-1 and one on the season with a win at home against Rice. And then the double overtime loss uh, to Michigan. And uh, an impressive win on Saturday down at Texas San Antonio with the young quarterback Jabari Laws doing a fine job backing up Kelvin Hopkins, who was injured. So we had a chance today at practice to talk with head coach Jeff Munkin, uh, defensive lineman Idris Patterson, and Malcolm Morrison, who is from our neck of the woods, who went to Iona Prep. Let's hear these uh, talks. And it's Ken Kratzer for Sons of America Legion Radio at West Point. Have a chance to talk with one of the Army defensive linemen that is really having a great season. That is number 55, Idris Patterson. Idris, good to see you. Uh, what was uh, practice like for you today? Uh, you know, we had a good day today. Um, we're just working on basically uh, putting in putting in a few more plays, you know, just trying to work hard, trying to put together our our best game, I would say. We have, we have yet to play our best game this year, so we're trying to put everything together. Give, give it all we got this weekend. Well, you guys have had uh, uh, a good start to the season, and boy, the Michigan talk shows have not stopped talking about how you guys bottled up their their offense. Uh, just tell us a little bit about uh, uh, that game and the success that your defense has had so far this season. Okay, so uh, in that game, we uh, we always played a hard game. You know, a lot of people saying that we uh, we're hoping to pull it out. Of course, any team would be. It was a great uh, atmosphere. Uh, fun game to play, big house of course, you know, it was loud, exciting. It was just fun being out there. But uh, our defense, you know, we're just trying, like I said, we're trying to put together our best game. That's as a team, but still as a defense, we haven't put together our best game. So, you know, we go by like playing hard, running, playing physical, running hard to the ball every play. So that's really what we focus on. Absolutely. You impress the entire college football uh, fan base around the country. Now tell us, now where are you from and uh, why did you decide to come to West Point? Uh, I'm from Rahway, New Jersey. It's a uh, about an hour and a half from here. Um, I decided to come to West Point because the opportunities, you know, of course the opportunity to play Division One college football, you know, that's every every kid's dream. So that was my dream growing up and um, the opportunities after after the Army. Very good. And what are you studying here uh, academically? My major in engineering management. Very good. What's that about? What, what are you studying in the classes? So it's uh, basically a combination of different types of engineering. So like uh, mechanical engineering, you know, just it's a put together and it's kind of like project management, I would say. You know, that's more like the, I guess, is the civilian world version of it. But uh, project management and business management put together with a little bit of engineering. Hey, that's great. Now, uh, tell us a little bit about Coach Munkin has said the front seven of this team has really gelled and playing very well. Tell us a little bit about your teammates on the on the front line of uh, the Army defense. So we, uh, we're, all, we're a tight-knit bond. I'll say we're probably one of the tightest groups on the team. You know, sometimes we'll go out and just hang out, you know, as a group. Or our coach, uh, Kevin Lewis, he'll have us over his house for, you know, cookouts or whatever. Well, we're, we're just a tight group. Even in school, we all help each other, you know, as much as we can. So we're just a really tight group. We have uh, have a few years of experience with each other, so that definitely helps. And I thought you're going to get to come back and play before the, the home fans at Mikey Stadium. What's that going to be like for you on Saturday playing Morgan State here? It's going to be very exciting. So, I know this team, you know, very athletic, good team. So we're excited to play, especially in front of our home fans. You know, it's always great playing here. It's, this place is sacred for, for us, so we're excited about it. Absolutely, Idris Patterson. Great to see you. Best wishes from everybody at the American Legion. All right, thank you, sir. Have a pleasure. This is Ken Kratzer for Sons of American Legion Radio at West Point. And it's Ken Kratzer for Sons of American Legion Radio. We're up at West Point at Army football practice. Have a chance to talk with one of the young Black Knights. It's been making, getting himself out on the field and playing uh, as a defensive back. That is Malcolm Morrison. Malcolm, great to see you. How was practice today? Uh, it was pretty good. Just another day to get better, improve all of our techniques uh, as a unit, as a team. And we just try to uh, improve every day, step by step. Very good. Now, you've been getting some playing time. You're out there, especially this past Saturday at uh, Texas uh, San Antonio when uh, some of the players, there were a couple of injuries. Well, what have been some of the spots for you? Uh, what have you thought about when you've gotten into the games? Yes, sir. So I've been playing uh, nickel, mostly nickel cornerback. Uh, you know, they have me just all over the place. Uh, I could be blitzing, playing in coverage, uh, just matching up with whoever they really want me to. So I'm very flexible in what I do. So. 
Very good, absolutely. And uh, you're playing a very good defensive unit. Uh, now, now uh, you told me something very interesting. Uh, you're from our neck of the woods. Uh, uh, tell us where you're from and how you ended up at Iona Prep. So I'm originally from uh, Philadelphia, PA. My mom got a job up here when I was going into high school, and my dad grew up in New Rochelle, so he knew about a great school called Iona Prep. So they just decided to send me to Iona Prep, and the rest is history. That's great. Uh, 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 that's it. Tell us about your. What was your senior season like there? Uh, senior season, uh, I was captain. Uh, second year starter. I was injured the first two years of high school, so only my second year experience. But it was a good ride. I had a lot of close friends, a lot of people. We've been tight ever since freshman year. So just be able to play together for a whole season one last time as one class it was pretty good. We liked it a lot. Hey, that's great. We'll mention you on our home radio station is right near Shell WVOX. And uh, now tell us a little bit. Of, now, why did you decide to come here to West Point? Honestly, West Point, I didn't know much about until I came on my visit. Coach Luce recruited me, and I realized that this is actually a place where I actually improve in society and just in life. And it has, it's one of the top football programs in the country, so it's just the best of both worlds, and I couldn't go wrong. Absolutely. Now, I always ask sophomores, because uh, I have so much respect for anybody who can get through freshman year here at West Point, what was the key for you to uh, get through your plebe year successfully? Uh, the key was probably just trying to probably just like communicating with my friends, just keep talking to other people how they got through this place, because every plebe here has their struggles, either academically, personally, emotionally. So for me, it, could, it was kind of a combination of everything, but I just talked to other people, see how they got through, and we all just worked together to get through our first year. Yeah, that's what we hear. You get through as a team, and that's exactly what we hear from all the people in the Army, and so you did very well. And uh, just uh, what's your thought about uh, Morgan State on Saturday? Um, it's uh, going to be good for you to be back in front of the home fans. You're going to get a big ovation uh, from the appreciative crowd. Uh, what, will, what, what are your thoughts about the game on Saturday and your preparation? Yes, sir. Uh, Morgan State's a well-coached team, and we just plan to just play our game, uh, just work as hard as we can and be prepared to come out and play hard. Well, Malcolm Morrison, we're going to look forward to seeing you, number two, from uh, now from New Rochelle, graduate of Iona Prep, and uh, I'm sure everyone down there is very proud of your success so far here at West Point. Good to see you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hey, thank you. This is Ken Kratzer for Sons of America Legion Radio at West Point. Coach Davis and Coach Tracy practice several guys at uh, – at different positions just in case that happens so there's a lot of guys on our offensive line that have practiced snaps and playing center uh, they may they may never take a snap in practice or uh, in a game but as an emergency situation they at least know the rules and they've gone through center quarterback exchange so if we get in a bind like that uh, somebody can go into the game but we had uh, we had JB ready. We had Jack Sides ready. Noah Knapp was on the trip. So there were, there were several guys that could step in there. So Army versus Morgan State, 12 o'clock start here at Mikey Stadium at West Point on Saturday. You can come up to the game or watch on the CBS Sports Network. For Sons of America Legion Radio at West Point, this is Ken Kratzer.